article for CageMinds.com. We're at Latrell's MMA. We got Kevin Kroon with us. What's up? What's up? And it's title fight time. Shamrock FC Bantamweight title on the line next weekend. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, man. It's about time. It's been like eight, nine months since I fought. You guys should know I'm trying to fight like every other week. So, man, I'm really happy about this. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm in really good shape. So now it's just losing the weight and, uh, you know, fighting. I'm excited. A week out, I don't know if you have to cut much weight. You're looking pretty lean right now and pretty hyper through the practice I was just watching. Like we said, you like to stay busy. So how much are you bouncing off the walls waiting to get back in there? Man, uh, my life has been in shambles. It's like fighting keeps me level-headed. It's like my medication, you know. Uh, and I've been like eight months without any medication. So uh, I'm definitely bouncing off the walls, man. I I'm really ready to go, you know. And then I come in here and you're leading practice, showing everybody technique, demonstrating everything. How long has that been going on for? Uh, you know, uh, man, I I've really been trying to uh, kind of step into more of a, a leadership role with the team, you know. Uh, I feel like, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of one of the top fighters here. I, I probably have the most experience here out of, out of any of the pros around. Um, you know, so really I'm just kind of trying to be a team leader, to be a captain, and uh, thankfully, you know, my coaches are okay with me taking that position, so, yeah. So now your opponent, Jacob Atkins. You guys both like to take the back. A lot of submission wins, both of you guys. But you said he likes to scrap. So how? What do you? How do you see this fight playing out? Uh, you know, I I expect that he will want to bang until I hit him a few times. You know, uh, and I mean that that's how it seems to go. We'll see. You know. Um, uh, I feel like my last fight, I kind of got a little too focused in, like a game plan, and, and not that we don't have a game plan, but it's, uh, I feel like it's more about me being comfortable wherever I am, you know, uh, I'm an experienced enough fighter, you put me on my back, I'm going to be fine, if I'm standing up, I'm going to be good, so really it's just about going with the flow, and uh, you know, taking the opportunities that are there. You were on such a hot streak, it was such an uphill, everything was so much momentum, and then we know there was a decision loss. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, decision. What was it What was it like for you to, was it, you know, that hard to get the confidence back, or what was it like taking that loss? Uh, man, you know, like, uh, I've, been, I've been doing this for eight years now, I've lost, I've won, you know, it's kind of like... I've been around, you know, like, uh, it, it's not my first rodeo, I've lost before, I mean, of course, losses are always hard, but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, sticking with the grindstone, man, I've been training ever since then, you know, and I mean, that's really, it, it's not stopping, you know, not not letting petty stuff like that stop you, you know. Look back at MFC 39, what are you, what are, what are you saying, what did I need to do better there? Uh, so, I mean, you know. I should have, uh, I think I lost because I, uh, the best thing about me is, is I fight to win. I always go out, you know, I'm kind of a street fighter, man. I'm from the trailer park, like, let's bang on me. And I feel like I kind of went out there and I tried to make it get too much of a technique battle, you know, like, uh, when I really should have just been fighting. So, I mean, that's the game plan, just go out and, and you know, try to hurt this kid, you know? So what's the motivation of thinking about bringing back a second world title to the gym? Uh, yeah, man, that would be really cool. It would be cool to have another shiny strap hanging up, you know, but uh, honestly, the man, I'm just, I, I need the win, you know, uh, just for my life to move on, you know, just so I can be okay. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, honestly, the belt belts are just toys. They're nice to have, you know, make sure I'll take some more toys, but it's not a big deal, you know. 2013, we saw you do some kickboxing. 2014, some boxing. What's 2015? Is it strictly MMA or anywhere you can get in a fight? Man, uh, anywhere I can fight. You know, let's hope uh, the stars will align and I'll get the big calls. You know, uh, I'm, I'm tired of fighting for nothing. You know, uh, I, I put eight years into this. I, I deserve to make good money. I'm an exciting fighter. You know, so we'll see. I, I really wouldn't mind doing some more kickboxing. You know, we'll kind of just see. Uh, I'm down for whatever opportunity grabs me, you know? You've been at this for eight years, and I'm sure you got an opinion, and we got to ask CM Punk. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, man, it is what it is, you know? I, I can't even say anything, you know? Whatever, you know? Uh... <laughs> I guess I guess the future will, future will find out. You know, I mean, heck, dude, he could be amazing. 
So does that change your thoughts? Or like, maybe I should try some pro wrestling, make my name a little better. I don't know. Yeah, man, I had the realization like six years ago that if I did steroids and gained like 200 pounds, I could probably make it in wrestling. You know? Oh, I'm sure you could. You got the personality. I got, I got the personality. I got the entertainment factor. But, you know, uh, this is this is my life, man. You know, uh, I live for those moments in the cage, you know. It's the only time everything seems right to me, you know, so I won't be stopping. And then you've been so active, and now you're chomping at the grandson to be active, but pump on the brakes, holy shit, maybe you've had some time to show some major improvements from not getting beat up Definitely. all the time. Definitely. Um, yeah, man, that's a really good point. You know, I've had eight months since anybody's seen what I could do, you know, so uh, I've definitely gotten a lot better. Me and Coach Ray Yee, we've been working so hard on my striking, you know, so I, I really, I really plan on going out and impressing a lot of people. I 100% believe that I'm the best 135 pounder in the world and nobody can move like I can and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show you guys. So just wait. What do you got to say to the people supporting you and who you got to thank? Thank you so much, man. You guys, man, I... I get Facebook messages, tweets, all this stuff from people all around the world that I've never met. And like, you guys just reaching out to me really keeps me going, you know? I got negative money in my bank account. I'm scraping the buy to get gas money, you know? And then somebody hits me up and tells me how much me fighting has helped them. It's ridiculous. So thank you so much to all my fans, um, all my sponsors, Albuquerque Drive Shaft, Mama D's Dungeon, uh, Bell to Bell Impact, uh, Heart of America Athletic Training Center, um, Roxy's Nightclub, uh, Sweet Nothings, um, Albuquerque Kickboxing, Coach Ray Yee, Latrell's MMA, Chris Latrell, uh, man, Danny Romero, Danny Romero Tied Out, uh, Lisa Gore, um, you know, Brian Imes, Hillbilly Fightwear, of course, you, fucking Cage Minds, I really appreciate it. Um, man, January 17th is about to go down. I cannot wait to show you guys everything I got planned for this kid. So The uh, event is shock, right? Heck yeah, heck yeah, man, for sure. I'm, uh, I'm over to And where can we tune in? Uh, I'm not quite sure at the moment. It's supposed to be televised, but I don't have the channel. I should. I don't know, uh, but for sure, check my uh, Facebook, my Twitter, um, hardhittinghillbilly.com. It'll all be up there. We'll get it all figured out. Awesome. Thank you for the yeah, time. Thank Best you, guys. Luck. I appreciate it. Have a good one.